Y'all, I done set up here and had this whole conversation with y'all, and now my battery is about to die. Let me come right back. Let me change this battery out. Okay, I am back. I had to switch out that battery. That is the one thing I don't like about this camera, is that I'm always having to charge the batteries for this. I miss my G7X. <laughs> I miss it. I miss it. I miss it. I miss the, le the lens being at the top, the screen being at the top. I miss that. Not that I don't like this. I'm just not... I mean, the Canon G7X was just the camera for me. But I got this one. We gonna use it. I ain't taking it back. I had I was having this whole conversation with y'all and realized I wasn't even recording. So what I was basically saying is that happy hump day. Happy Wednesday. I hope you guys are doing well today. I am off work early today because I had two doctor's appointments today. I am done with the first one. I'm here at the second one. I have a little bit of time before I have to go in. This is the appointment though where they're going to tell me my results from the CT scan when it comes to my chest. So ho hopefully everything will be good. But over here, like this parking lot, it's always, it's super congested over here because it's always a lot of people over here. So just finding a place to park is really, really difficult. But I found me a spot towards the front, so I'm happy about that. I got one more month, y'all. One more month before I can really start to buy, like, unnecessary things. <laughs> so, you know, I've, there's some things that I have in my Sephora cart that I do want to pick up. I am really trying to wait for the Sephora sale, but I'm ready to buy me some unnecessary stuff, y'all. <laughs> I'm ready to go shopping, okay? But I got one more month um, for my... Um, no spin for this quarter and then I'll sit down and, and figure out how I want to go forward in the next quarter But I don't know if I'm gonna go as long as I did this first quarter, but so far I've done pretty good I mean there have been a few purchases that I can look back on that's like and it's been very few that I'm like That's probably an unnecessary purchase, but for the most part I bought things that were um that were necessary so I'm, I'm proud of myself for that but today though i am going to go and get me a pedicure my feet look terrible they look terrible so i'm gonna try to get me a pedicure today i was gonna try and get my car washed but i don't know i think it's supposed to snow today so that would just defeat the purpose of me doing that yeah it's like a 40 percent chance of rain or whatever so yeah, I don't think I'm going to do that today. I think I'm just going to go and try to get me a pedicure. And then I'll probably go back home and try to get a couple more things done. Because I do have a have a Zoom tonight with this lady. And she'll be talking about personal branding. I'm really excited to um, listen and hear what she's going to be talking about. The girl is trying to make some, some more changes um, when it comes to some things. Like I said, I don't want to really talk a whole lot about that stuff now. But... At some point, I will definitely mention it in another vlog. I'm just trying to figure things out right now. I'm going to go ahead and jump on off of here, and I will talk to you guys a little bit later. Hey, guys. It's me. I'm back. I am done with my doctor's appointment for today. I'm going to go and see if I can get a pedicure, although I do feel like going home. <laughs> but uh, everything went well. Everything is pretty much stable in my chest area. Um, he does want me to see a, a ophthalmologist, I do believe that's the name. And then I don't have to get another CT scan from him until next next year. I just want to come on here and update you guys on that. Talk to you guys a little bit later. But I just left the post office. I got my feet done. I got like a cute little light light green color on my toes today. Let me see if I can show y'all. That's how my toes are looking. It's like a light green on my toes. So yeah, so I like the color. All right, now that we are tapping in or aware of our authenticity, of our purpose, where do we go from here? Where where do we build? How do we get to from, from point A to point B concerning our professional life, our, our personal life? happy saturday i hope you guys are doing well on today as you guys can see i'm out and about got y'all a little footage of me uh, driving today i am getting ready to take my car in because it needs to be serviced i need an oil change i need the brake fluid change i literally had two minutes to spare too y'all two minutes to spare let me pull right here put myself together real quick 
but I wanted to go ahead and get the vlog started for today um, yesterday I got a few little clips I got my hair done as you guys can see I did get it cut down and then I went to dinner last night I went to this place called Salazzo's I believe it is the food was pretty good but I'm gonna go ahead and jump on off of here because I'm getting ready to get my car serviced but I will check back in with you guys later so So I'm going to talk quick before it dies because I didn't bring another one with me. But I got up and I had to, um, I washed clothes last night, but um, I got up to wash my sheets this morning. And I'm getting ready to go and stop and get me some breakfast. Like I got a taste for like a McDonald's hash brown, so I'm probably going to pick that up. And then I'm getting ready to run into the Dollar Tree because I need to pick up a few things that we need. And run to Aldi because I didn't go to Aldi yesterday I didn't feel like that um, I was so tired yesterday y'all so I'm just running a few errands this morning I gotta get me some gas and then I'm gonna come back home and I gotta work on some of my tax stuff today and then I need to work on a couple of other things as well so I'm gonna do that but hopefully I'll, I'll just really get a chance to relax later I know today is the Super Bowl not sure if I'm gonna go to any parties or anything today. I may. Right now, it ain't looking good. It's cold out here today, y'all. It is cold. It's 14 degrees, but it feels like it's much colder than that. Another thing I wanted to tell you guys today, I think it's a day, I think I mentioned it in a vlog last year, that I was going to start interviewing my grandfather just to have that, you know, history and stuff. So I looked up a couple of questions on Pinterest that I'm going to ask him so I'm not gonna ask him a whole lot of questions today but today we're gonna to at least start so I guess I'll ask him between three and five questions today and then just go from there but I'll try to go ahead and record some of that today so you know maybe every week um, I can you know ask him you know a few questions here and there just so that I can have that documented so I'm gonna do that today but my camera is about to turn off so I will be, I'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys, I am home. I stopped at the Dollar Tree and Aldi and Portillo's. So I'll show you guys first what I got from Portillo's. From Portillo's, I just got some chocolate cake. So I got two slices of their chocolate cake. So that's all I got from Portillo's. From the Dollar Tree, we needed some Band-Aids. So I got some Band-Aids. I couldn't film because y'all, my camera died and my, my phone went hot. I got some travel size band-aids for me. I got toothpaste for my grandfather. I got a thin flashlight. I got some more uh, Glade air fresheners. I got one in clean linen. I got one in lemon. I got one in the Hawaiian breeze. I think this is my favorite one. I got some more Tylenol. I got me some Flame of Hots. I got the Germex hand sanitizer spray. This is for my car. Then I got some placards for my grandfather. And then I just got some plastic forks. And then I went in Aldi. I like to put my stuff in this Mariano's bag, but I went in Aldi. I got some noodle, some noodle bowls. I got one in sweet chili. And then I got one in pad thai. I got one in yakisobi. Yakasabi. Uh, I don't know. So I'm going to eat one of these for lunch. I got some breakfast bowls for my grandfather. I got some tomatoes. I got some apples. I got blueberries and avocado and some M&M's. That's everything that I got from Aldi. I wanted to just quickly show you guys my little flower arrangement. I thought it was really pretty. I got both of these from Trader Joe's on yesterday and I just thought that I would combine them now. I can make it look a little bit better 
but this is what it's looking like right now so some of them still have to bloom and stuff but i think overall it still looks really pretty and really nice on the table so i decided that i would just gift myself some fresh flowers <laughs> It is Sunday evening and I just got done wrapping up the tech stuff that I'm going to do for today. I still got a little bit to go because I told you guys that today I was going to start interviewing my grandfather, just asking him some questions uh, just about him, his life and stuff, just so I could kind of have that stuff on, um, you know, on camera, on video so I can always like refer back to it. I'm getting ready to just ask him about five questions today. I wrote them down. Some of these questions, they're not gonna be in order. I'm gonna go up here and ask him before this game starts. <laughs> so y'all come on with me. You're in there giving me a hard time, y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna ask you five questions about yourself and your family. So the first question is, where were you born? At home in mama's bed in Marion County, Marion County, Georgia. Okay. Do you know why you were given your first name? Where I got it? Yeah. No. Oh. Did you ever ask? No. Oh. I don't recall asking. Okay. Um, did you have a nickname growing up? Not at home, no. In the school they had one for me. What was the name they had for you in school? The Jess always had, my brother always had a trouble. He had to have glasses. Uh -huh. And they called him Cyclist. That's a cruel thing we did. what they call you? Little, little Cyclist. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't funny. I didn't wear glasses then, but... <laughs> but he was your brother. Right. <laughs> that ain't funny. How many siblings do, uh, did you have? So how many girls and how many boys? Two, two sisters and the rest were boys. Wait a minute. There was nine of us. Okay. I think. So two girls? Two girls. And, and seven boys? Seven, yeah. Okay. Um, And where did you fall in line? So what number were you? The other four. So you were between, you were before Auntie Willie B. I mean, oh. you after right. Auntie Willie B. But between Willie B and Roosevelt. Willie B and Roosevelt, okay. And what games did you play as a child? Like, what, what kind of games did you all play growing up? You didn't play nothing? No. There was no, no nothing, no mud in the front yard and grass everywhere. We okay. tried playing uh, a little, little football, touch football. Not at, not at home. We didn't have nobody to play there. No. At school, that's what we played. A little touch football, mm -hmm. a little basketball, but there was no games there at, home, at home. We had to work. We worked seven days a week. Mm -hmm. Remember when you milk cows or feed chickens? Mm -hmm. Seven days a week. Oh, wow. So when you did play those games, the touch football and basketball, which one did you like the most? Probably running the ball, running with the ball. What I liked doing was hunting. Oh, you liked hunting? I loved it. Hmm. I didn't know that. What you like hunting for? Squirrels is my favorite. Really? We used to get a lot of squirrels. used to shoot a lot of squirrels. And what else? What else besides squirrels did you? Occasionally, if the bird was big enough, I'd shoot a bird. Rabbits were mostly what we killed when hmm. I shot. How did you learn to shoot? Uh, Dad had a gun, hmm. and he bought me. eventually bought me a rifle. Or what age were you when he bought you a rifle? 16, 17. Oh, wow. Were you excited to get that? Oh, boy. <laughs>